Nitinanam, everybody. Welcome back to the Blissful Athlete. Today we're going to be learning how to perform Mayurasana, also known as the Peacock Pose. Mayurasana is one of the most traditional asanas available out there. Not only is it coming from the Rudra Yamala Tantra, it also comes from three different Upanishads as well. Means this is one of the original asanas revealed by Shiva himself. This is a really powerful asana for a number of reasons. One, it's very supportive in digestion. It helps alleviate a lot of toxins within the body and really helps activate the Manipura Chakra. Now, before you get into this asana, it's really important that you have good wrist mobility, that you've warmed up your wrists specifically, and that you're really just prepared mentally because this is a challenging asana. This is the 95th asana of the Pratama Vinyasa Krama, the 108 asana sequence of the Nithinanda Yoga first level uh, sequence. And so by that time in the sequence, the, the wrists are quite warm. The body is ready to get yourself into this position. Now, without further ado, I'll start to walk you through how you can start practicing and performing this asana, whether you're capable of doing it or maybe you're able to hold it, but you want to advance it and so you can hold yourself there for a little bit longer. You always want to make sure that your wrists are somewhat close together as you enter into the asana. So you start off by making sure that you can either spread your fingertips out wide to the side or more towards your, the back, pointing towards you. Now that's really up to you and what you find is most comfortable for you. Some people prefer the wrist touching. Some people prefer them a little bit separate. Some people prefer the hands pointed to the sides and some a little more towards the back. Me, I'm more of a in-between and I prefer them to the side and slightly to the back. Also, because of my arms, there's a little bit bigger. It's tougher for me to get my elbows all the way in to the center of my stomach. However, that is the goal, is to bring your elbows as close to your stomach as you can. Other thing is, if you're performing this, you wanna have a good grip with your elbows. So uh, sometimes if I'm having a really intense yoga asana sequence, my stomach is really sweaty, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna just slip out. You wanna make sure that you have a good grip there. So as you enter into this though, first thing I want you to do is just try and find that grip, find that balance that feels best for you. And once you do, try and start to lean into it and just get a feel for that. So you're leaning forward, staying on your knees and try and get a feel for what works for you. Once you wanna start advancing, you're gonna walk your hands out a little bit further. So keep your knees down still and lean your stomach down into, into the the elbow region okay so again you're getting your your hands fingertips to the Y to the side slightly pointed back is where I find it best and then I'm working to get my elbows as close to the center of my body as possible from there extend your hands out a tiny bit and we're gonna just find where you're at but at first you might be somebody that can only hold this this might be a little bit too challenging for your wrists and this might be as much weight that you could bear with your upper body. If you're somebody that wants to start exploring from that region though, what you're gonna do is just lift up one knee. You have one knee down, just lift up one knee. You can try lifting up the opposite knee and lifting that down. Another variation or way that you can work forward is by bringing your forehead down onto the ground. So you have your elbows, your knees down, lift up one knee, lift up another knee, and then if you want to try, lift up both knees with the forehead down on the ground. If you're still able to go further, or that's too much, play with that region. Don't go any further. However, if you feel ready that you want to try and go to the next level, what you would do is lift your forehead off the ground. So again, hands are out. Bring the elbows close to the navel as possible. Keep the knees down forehead down, lift one knee up, then the second, and then if you feel comfortable, lifting up your forehead. And just staying here for a few seconds, and then coming down. Now that's not the complete posture still, but it's a way that you can start working towards getting into that asana. If you wanna take it to the next level, 
Then from there, you would just be extending out the legs and you'd find yourself in the full position. Now, you probably maybe just noticed that. My, I stretched out my lit wrist a little bit. It's really important that you do so. You can bring your knuckles together and bring the tops of your hands down and flex, or not flex, but work out that tightness in your wrists. Constantly keep your wrists moving, making sure that you're not putting too much pressure on that region. So let's see if we can take it a little bit further. Again, fingertips pointing out to the sides. Spread them out nice and wide. You can bring the hands all the way back if you'd like. I prefer a little bit in between personally. Do your best to bring your elbows as close to the center of your stomach as you can. Knee still on the ground. Bring the forehead down. Lift up one knee, then the other. See if you can lift up your forehead. And then if you can, extend your feet out straight. From here, do your best to open up your chest and you'll be gazing up towards your third eye. Three, four, five. If you're here, you can also play with bringing one foot down and just try and find your balance. You can have both feet down. You can even bring the forehead down. And then coming out of it. So that's the full posture of Mayurasana. Advanced asana, but honestly, maybe one of the funnest once you actually get it. And what you'll notice is really how much it strengthens your core, detoxifies the center of your being, it, in not only just on a physical level, but an energetic level. And you'll just start to understand there's a reason why Shiva himself revealed this as one of the first and foremost asanas that everybody should work towards doing. So if you're not yet able to do Mayurasana, come back to this video, rewatch it, practice it. It's all about practice and it will come eventually. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. My name is Sri Nithya Dridananda. I'm an ordained Nithinanda Yoga Acharya. I'd be grateful if you were to stick around and learn some more authentic yoga from the source. Take care, everybody. And as always, be blissful. Nithinandam.